hiya this is the third video but it really should be the second video of lesson seven so at the start i got through towards the end of that uh, example and i was down to like the last 20 seconds and i thought i could rush it so i made a mistake so then i stopped it and then did the second one so the second video was only about 20 well two minutes if that i didn't have time to continue uh then so now i have got time to continue so there's a question for you which is on your page 32. So if I show you that, then you can work your way through it and double check it. Uh, quite a big question. There. It might be that the solution's done in a slightly different way to how I do it, but you're gonna get the same answer, so who cares? Right, then let's have a look at the next one. So this is example two coming up here now. It's quite a nice question, this one. Um, so we're, so we're, so we're throwing a stone. It's tied to a piece of string. So you chuck it over the branch to make a rope swing. So that's fair enough. I think you can kind of see that. This might mess with your head a little bit. The speed is V, like that. Uh, so U is V, so that's going to mess with you. Now it says that it wants an equation of the flight path. Uh, so you want, well, if you look here, it says in terms of x and v. So if it's in terms of, that's what's on the other side of it. So really I want a y equals. So what I want in terms of a plan will be an equation for s vertically and an equation for s horizontally. And rearrange one for time and sub it into it. Just like the last example, really. In terms of a picture, it's one meter high, there, and it's been, where are we? So we've got 70 degrees to the horizontal, and it's got a velocity V, there, okay, right. So let's have a think um, horizontally. Do you remember I do my little velocity vector? So I've got V there. 70. So I've got V cos 70. V sine 70. And that's pretty much all I've got, isn't it? Right, so horizontally, so S is going to be X, U is going to be V cos 70, which isn't a nice number, so I'm going to leave it like that. V, A is 0, T is T. So if I use S equals UT plus a half AT squared, so X... The A is zero, isn't it? So this part here just disappears. So X is equal to V cos 70, lots of T. So that makes sense for that was the one that I'm gonna rearrange. Let's have a look vertically. There, okay. Right, oops. So, S is Y, U is V sine 70, V don't know, A, does it give us acceleration? Um, 9.8, so minus 9.8, and T, right, well let's have a think about this. If I use this t here, then x over v cos 70 is t. So I'm going to put an x over v cos 70 there. So using s equals ut plus a half a t squared. So y equals v sine 70 t plus a half times by minus 9.8 times by, oh, hang on, my t, I've changed my t, haven't I? 
my t is x over v cos 70 plus a half times minus 9.8 times by x over v cos 70 squared there right let's have a think what we got here then so my, my v's cancel if you noticed sine over cos is tan so i've got y is x tan 70 so it's a little bit like the last one doesn't it now then hmm. a half times minus 9.8 is minus 4.9 x squared over v squared cos squared 70 there so if you look at that if you look at that equation now I've got it in terms of x and v on the right hand side so that's okay right part b says at what speed must a stone be thrown for it to go over the branch <sighs> right let's have a think about this because if you notice i've not taken into account the fact that it's one meter above when really maybe i should have put a plus one on there so really potentially on this equation should i have really stuck a plus one on the end there to show that it's starting off one meter above but i can be a little bit cheeky this point is three meters across but really now if i've not put that plus one on there to show it's above i'm actually only traveling three meters up there so i think if i use x to be free and y to be free i think i've got I'm okay it's a little bit cheeky but there you go uh right so part b so i've got my y is x tan 70 minus 4.9 x squared over v squared cos squared 70. I'm going to use x is 3 and y is 3 because it's 3 meters above where I throw from. If I had put that plus 1 in there, to show that I was starting a meter above, then I would have had x is three and y is four. And it still would have worked out because the y on the left, the four, when I took the one off it would still give me the three. So it's okay. Might not like it, but it's okay. So I've got three is three tan 70 minus 4.9 three squared v squared cos squared of 70. I can do some faffing around a little bit. So if I swap them two over, I've got 4.9 uh, times by 9, which is 44.1, over v squared cos squared 70 is 3 tan 70 minus 3. Oops, nearly got my uh, signs mixed up then. But be careful about the time now. I want v squared on its own. So if I swap them over, I can do it as uh, 44.1 over cos squared 70, 3 tan 70 minus 3 is v squared. And that left hand side, I can actually just put in my calculator as I see it. Just remember, though, to put the cos squared of cos 70 all squared. And potentially, if you've done it right, because I'm running out of time here, you should get 8.48 for V. But your G value is 9.8, 2 sig fig. So really, I'm looking at 8.5 meters per second is your speed. It's quite a nice question, that, really. I was a bit cheeky because I didn't put the plus 1 in. But I've done it because I've found my, the point kind of relative to my start point. I'm okay. I've got away with it. Right. That's sort of something that might be us done with three seconds left. Nope, it's just consolidation questions. Well done. <laughs>